All security agencies were seen present at the Federal High Court waiting for the arrival of the proclaimed leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Aipo, Namde Kanu, and two others, Benjamin Madubugu and David Nwawisi. Pro-Biafra activists were also seen outside the court chanting different songs from a distance. Governor and other government officials were seen in court in solidarity for IPOC, even though operatives of the Department of State Services DSS denied former aviation minister Fanny Kayode access to court. Namde Kanu was first arraigned before the magistrate court in Abuja in 2015 before arraignment in the Federal High Court. It was first arranged before Justice Adini Adimola, who withdrew from the case over allegation of fraud by the federal government. The economic community of West African states, ECOWAS Court, had also cleared the head by saying Khan's right is being infringed upon. As the DSS was not persuaded to release Kanu on bail, his lawyers approached the economic community of West African states, ECOWAS, which upheld his rights and liberty. At a previous sitting, Justice Binta Yako denied Kanu bill, but the Defense Council moved a fresh application for variation of the earlier bill order and protection of witnesses. In a ruling, the bill is conditioned on 100 million naira with three sureties in the same amount, with warning that Kanu should refrain from rallies. The court also held that Kanu must not be seen in a crowd of more than 10 people and should not grant press interviews. Justice Binta Yako also ordered the iPod leader to deposit his international passport with the court registrar. These fresh conditions provide a speculation of the possibility of his being released. The court, however, refused bail for the other persons charged along with Kanu and refused to vary an earlier order which sought to protect witnesses in the trial of the iPod leader. This again confirms that the court is disposed to secret trial for the reason of protecting the identity of witnesses. Counsel for the defendants and Governor Ayodele Fayoshe react to the ruling. We are going to resist every attempt by the federal government to flout this order made by the court this morning. Even if we mobilizing people to the street, I will do that. And any attempt to flout this order will bring an end to this trial. Under condition for bail, we will reveal it, whether either to reapply or to go on appeal. This is a face in our country and it shall surely pass. I salute your spirit, Nabdi Kalu, Keep hope alive. One day, one day, the story, the history will be on your side. What I see today is a step in the right direction. Our nation needs healing. Our nation needs new interpretation. The trial is adjourned to July 11th. Wumi Obaburi, AIT News, Abuja.